Brett sells thingamabobs to two types of consumers. There are 10 type 1 customers and there's 20 type 2 customers. Then it gives us the value function for each type of customer and it tells us that thingamabobs cost Brett $3 per unit to produce. Continuing to assume that Brett can separate customers and charge them differently, now suppose Brett implements two-part pricing, charging a per unit price and a fixed fee for the right to purchase the product. What is the fixed fee charged to type 1 customers? So this question is only asking about type 1 customers, therefore we can ignore all the information given to us about type 2 customers. Remember that in two-part pricing, we want to capture all the consumer surplus and cover all of our cost. So let's look at a linear demand curve to help us visualize what we are solving for. So here we have a straight line representing inverse demand, which in our question we know it's not a straight line, but this is just going to help us organize our thoughts. And we have our marginal cost curve driven. It's constant at $3. We know we want to produce at Q star and charge two different prices, a fixed fee equal to this blue triangle, and our per unit price will cover our cost, or this red rectangle. To solve for Q star, we need to first solve for our inverse demand curve and then set inverse demand equal to marginal cost. Well, remember that inverse demand is the derivative of the total value function. So here's the total value function for the type 1 customers. We take the derivative of it with respect to Q and we find that our inverse demand is equal to P equals 28 minus Q squared. We know that marginal cost is $3, so we can set these two lines equal and solve for Q. Doing some algebra, we find that Q is equal to 5. So now that we've solved for Q star equal to 5, we can find our fixed fee. Let's take a look at a nonlinear demand curve graph, which is more like what we are given. So even though we're not solving for the area of a triangle, we're going to use kind of the same idea to solve this. We need to solve for the fixed fee by finding the total value at 5 units, or this green area, and then subtracting the total cost or this red rectangle. When we do that, it's going to leave us with just that blue area, which is our fixed fee. Notice that this is also equal to consumer surplus. So we have total value at 5 units, and we see that total value is 140 minus 41.67, or $98.33. Now we need to subtract our total cost, which is just marginal cost times quantity, or $3 of marginal cost times our 5 units, so we have $15 of total cost. And when we do this, we find that our fixed fee in this case is $83.33.